So I want to cover one more facet of lasers that to me is very significant and important. A lot of people in our new age conferences and alternative health stuff, we get into this stuff. Uh, we don't always cover it because it can be a little bit controversial but, controversial, but to me it's really essential and it's important. Common view in the alternative, the very alternative sector is that our understanding of laser technology comes from advanced civilizations. There are a number of accounts of people from the 1950s and 1960s who claim that there were quote unquote unidentified flying objects that either crashed here on this planet or landed here on this planet. And a number of them have come, come forward, including folks from the military, uh, sharing some of the information that they discovered from these crashes. Apparently, so the story goes, there were a number of technologies, the silicon chip, uh, laser diode technology, fiber optics, which were reverse engineered from these uh, quote unquote cr uh, crashed ships. My view is I'm not even convinced they were crashed ships. These are actually uh, spaceships. For, for, for starters, if you look at the cosmos and the number of stars and galaxies that exist, it is a statistical impossibility that we're alone in terms of life. My view is that star systems are like cells. We're living in a cell, and this cell, like any other cell, has an understanding of form and function built in. A carrot seed understands where it's going. It's going to become a carrot seed. In the same way, our star system, to me, it's not some chance occurrence that life started to organize and we started to come into a state of, of ultimately consciousness. Elements Star systems are vibration, they're signaling the activity of elements to organize and to begin to formate and eventually move in the process of developing life. That's not saying that there's someone up there who's saying life happened here. It's not as simple as that. It's a, it's a different sort of reference. But our view is that there is design and structure to this experience and that it's very likely that there is in fact other situations and civilizations where that same structure and situations have come into fruition. It's a blessing. We live in a blessing to be alive, to be on the planet, to be in the human body. And basically the situation from my point of view is that lasers, if you look at the, the shift that our information age took in the 1960s, it was a huge revolutionary shift. A lot of that is based on the physics of light and understanding how light holds information. To me it's very likely that some of our understanding of lasers came from this type of situation of, of advanced civilizations, perhaps even donating their technology. I'm not convinced that a, a, a spaceship that travels through, cosm through, through universes and, and what have you necessarily needed to crash. If it needed to land, you know, maybe it perhaps did it as a service or an offering to give us some technology to help our civilization because we weren't ready collectively to sort of welcome them and steward them into a larger uh, community of, of beings. But there are so many accounts nowadays of this happening that to me it's a no-brainer to at least be open to the possibility. And so that's what I'm putting forward on the table here is that our understanding of lasers in light medicine, a number of accounts came forward and said that there were actually lasers on these ships. There are books are written about this. And, and we, we reverse engineered and took this technology and made quantum ships in the fiber optic situation. So my view, if you go back to Star Trek also, they had one going on as well. Uh, if you remember the, the tricorder or what have you, sort of beam light and coordinated. My view is that we are heading into a revolution of light in every facet of experience. The human body by nature is designed to open up into light and consciousness. In the same way that flowers open up to the star, our systems are designed, the anatomy, the glands release incredible sacred substances, the nervous system, the subtle energy. We're designed to open up into consciousness. Every religious leader had this experience, every yogi, every mystic, every alchemist, they understand this progression of our experience from being identified as an individual to returning to the source to the essence, whatever name you want to give it, that is our function and form as a human experience, to open up, to bring together the experiences in this creation, and to return to the source, the essential nature of the universe and beyond. And so the, the, this, this laser, uh, we feel is a gift and a blessing. We feel a gift and a blessing in our lives for us to rejuvenate and handle health challenges and situations within our cellular field. And we're really pleased to offer it as a gift and an opportunity for those who feel drawn to it. Our unified field protocol and Unity Plane Book uh, material is soon to be released. And that material also, you don't need a laser to get into this stuff. A lot of these applications and protocols can be done with or without a laser. So we encourage everyone, if you're on this planet right now, this is 
a golden opportunity to shift and to open up. This is the spring of our opportunity of human beings for the ripening of our experience into the flowering of consciousness. And we're really grateful that we have the opportunity, both Lily and me and our family, to share uh, with you our discoveries, our experience. These are the things that we use in our lives to navigate our journey on this planet and in this universe. And we hope that they help you. And uh, much blessings and love from us to you.